Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the linear pattern tool and also use the circular pattern tool. Uh, it's a really handy tool. It can save a lot of time if you need to do repetitive task, if you have to put, say, holes in a place or if you have to repeat, say, timber joists. Uh, it can be really handy and it can be a real time efficiency uh, kind of tool as well. So we'll dive straight in. So first off, we're going to sketch a tube. So on the top plane, we're going to sketch a circle and we're going to put the circle at 100 mil diameter. And then we're going to offset this by five millimeters. Make sure it goes inside the circle and then we'll click OK. And then we're going to extrude this and we're going to extrude this out by 250 mil. So you can see that we've got a quite a big bore tube. It's not very tall. So this is the part that we're going to put a hole into. So if you need to create, I don't know, a decorative piece of, um, of kit and you need to have a patterned hole all the way up, this is definitely the kind of way that you go about it. So on the front plane, we're going to click normal to, and then we're going to sketch a circle, really simple circle, and we'll call it 10 mil diameter. And we're going to dimension it 10 millimeters from the origin as well. In fact, we'll do 20 mil. Makes it a little bit easier geometrically, and then we're going to constrain it by creating a center line, and we can now see that it's fully constrained. So, with this sketch, we're then going to go features, extrude, cut, and we're going to bring it towards us. You can go through all, or you can do blind, cut, doesn't matter, and then we'll click OK, and you can see that we have one hole at the bottom. Now, we want to pattern this hole all the way up the side of this tube. So we will do linear pattern and then in direction one, you need a you need an input to force that hole all the way up. Now, because it's a circular tube, there aren't any straight lines. Typically, you'd use a straight line to drive the uh, to drive the extruded cut all the way up. Because we don't have this, you can use planes. So we'll expand the fly out here, click on top plane. And then if we select the feature within the command manager and then click on that hole, you can see that it's allowing well, it's allowing five instances at one millimeter. So we need 20 millimeters, so it's the same from the bottom. And you can increase the instances all the way up to the top. We'll leave it a little bit shy, so we'll put say 10 in, then click OK, and you can see that it's patterned it. Now if you want to revolve the extruded cuts that you have here around the tube as well, what we can do is we can use a circular pattern. Now within circular pattern, you require an axis. If you don't have an axis, you can use the edge of the tube. Luckily, as we do have the tube, we've selected the edge. It's pre-populated it with four holes. And you can either do it as an instant spacing, so you can have four holes at 15 degrees, or you could have four holes at 30 degrees. The most common one I tend to use is equal spacing. So we have four, so that's at 90 degrees. You can have five or six or seven or eight or as many as you need or as many as you require. So if you go to 16, this will be a fairly heavy impact of hole. So you can see that here we've got holes all around the bottom. Now we need all of the holes here. So easily you just expand this here where you've got cut extrude. If you select the linear pattern one, it will also circular pattern the whole of the linear pattern that went up. So very quickly we've created this kind of interesting perforated steel tube and you can very quickly change either from your first base sketch really so if you need a smaller hole so if you need a more finer mesh you can go down to four mil click OK and then it will rebuild and then if you need more instances of it so 16 doesn't really allow much water say through or you need more holes you can then increase that up to i don't know say 40 click ok give it a second to rebuild and you can see that it's created a real fine mesh of holes 
So the circular pattern in the linear pattern tools are really, really handy and it's a really easy tool to use. I use it very, very often, especially in terms of creating joists, etc.